So let's try to you hit like a like this was number nine at El Dorado, like a 220 yard par three, uh -huh. and we're into a wind kind of like this, and I think you don't want to hit it left, right? Yeah. And see the two the two palm trees there that with the thick trunks. Yeah. That would be that'll be where the flag will be. So what kind of shot are you hitting here? A draw? Uh, a fade? What are, what are you doing? Yeah, I would want it to be on the right side. You want to draw it in? Uh, I can't. Yeah. Is that what you would do? Okay. Yeah. All right. So you just make your aim to a square at it or a little bit to the right. Yeah. You're going to drop it inside and you're going to go level with the shoulders and you're going to draw that ball right on over to that target. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Beautiful little draw on that. So the main thing is, is that you get the shot shape that you want and then the next thing you would just readjust, right? Re so you, maybe you would aim a little bit more to the right, yeah. right? So try that again. Now do the same thing and just feel like make the same swing and just aim a little bit more to the right. And on that last one, did he accelerate enough close? Like what's the difference between hitting a draw with the body and hitting a draw by like letting it sling this? The way? sling, the, the swinger's release is, is, is going to be going to be a timing thing and the hitter's release is going to be a body thing. So you could just think about holding a tennis racket, uh -huh. okay? If, you, if you're going to hit a, a, the ball's coming at you and you want to hit a top spin shot over, then you're going to come from down low and you're going to go like this. Okay, gotcha. Right? Just the same thing. So in hitting, we're just got the golf club here. We come down and we're going to work more this way. And the cut, we're going to, we can still come from the inside, the same thing, but we're just going to work more under. I'm going to cut, sling it under like this. So swingers release would be more for like a folded draw? On yeah, the, yeah. Like folding it over, right. being able to start it online and then... Yeah. Show us, Mike, in slow motion, the, 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 hit, the hitter. Body release. Right, yeah. so body release. So jumping yeah. underneath and... Yeah, exactly. Yep, yeah. very good. Okay, so on this one, you're just going to aim a little bit more to the right than you did on the last one. And you're just going to hit that same draw shot. So I think I think with that one it, it overhooked a little bit. I think yeah. you didn't you weren't quite as aggressive. Yeah. I want you to stay I want you to stay stay compact and and firm and aggressive. It looked a little quitty. Yeah. Okay, so do the same thing, but just aim to the right, stay aggressive. Very good. Yep. Really good. I don't know. It didn't come back, but yeah. the start line was perfect. Yeah, a little, um, yeah, good start line. A little more level with the shoulders going through. You'll get it this time right here. Aim right, level rotation. Body release. Cold top. That's what I did. <laughs> hey, you know, we all hit bad shots. I hit bad shots. We all do. You know, it's just good players hit less less bad shots. There we go. Oh yeah, that is like. So you tell us, Mike. Any difference at all between that and the other ones? Or? Uh, just a little bit more timing base. Or I felt it was like I didn't, the other ones, I didn't drop the club underneath and give it enough time back here before I like was too aggressive. Well, what I'm push. really impressed with, with Mike, is how he was able to adapt his golf swing to a six degree flat one iron. Yeah. Okay, just, just for uh, reference here, we've got, uh, where's that? Was there a three iron here? Three irons here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So just just for reference here, to to look at these lie angles here. Okay. Mike's been swinging a club here. Does that look pretty level on the ground? Okay. Yeah. So how many degrees are we talking there? Uh, I think it's about one degree flat for mine. So we're talking five five degrees there. Five degrees flatter. Yeah, because that'd be like. Yeah. Four minutes on a clock. Yeah. So, so very significant. So, obviously, this club down here is going to set you up for a different kind of golf swing than this club up here. Yeah. 
I mean, I'm really impressed that Mike was able to take this one iron that he's never hit before, probably never had anything that flat before, and just with a couple little drills that we did over on the net, he's able to take a, a short, aggressive backswing, I mean, a, a transition and right and work through the strike and be able to hit a beautiful, perfect little draw at if that. possible, I'd love to, to try to film that face on if you want to try to do it again. Yeah. Very good. That's Beautiful. Really good. Look at your I like that. That's good. That's See, that's just, I'll, I got to get used to a little bit of more of aggressive the turn. The flight, uh, it was pretty straight. Straight, straight shot. Uh, with a little butter, little butter fade on it. Okay. Yeah. I just got to get more aggressive. Aggressive. Yeah, stay yeah. aggressive. Yeah. Take some, say some uh, ghost swings like you're hitting into the net, just like 50% from short and then out more. Patient in the transition, then really close. There you go. Nice. Here, there we go. So weird to get that short. Yeah. Just stay stay aggressive is the key. Did you change his ball position? No. Okay. I changed your ball position. <laughs> there we go. That's it. That's the one. Well, I love that ball flight. That's fantastic. So same thing, Mike, was it just like- The one right before that, I was too short of a backswing and I pulled up too early yeah. versus that, that the a, second one was a fuller backswing and gave me more time to yeah. like, so with this, catch up. You're finding that you, you need to have that little bit of like softness in the transition before you start busting it with the body. I think just a little bit, just to give me time to get the club in position because it is substantially flatter. Yeah. So if I'm, but it'll be interesting when you watch the I, down the line views from these. I'm I'm curious uh, to get your feedback in the next week or so of how much flatter it was. Like, was it? I mean, I mean, in other words, you're not really changing your swing, your backswing that much. I mean, it's, you, but based upon a flatter club, is it just putting you in a better position because of the club? Yeah. yeah. I mean, this I is, don't feel like you were trying to force a flatter backswing. No. It. I mean, it, honestly, it feels a lot easier. Easier. Versus like. Kind of what I was working on before. Yeah. yeah. This is like way like more athletic in a way. Yeah. So you're from the face-on view, your backswing tilts are totally different because with his his swing before is more of a reverse C kind of thing. And then with a flatter club, it's more yeah. The see the flatter club just forces you to swing more level because it's flatter. I mean, you have to. Yeah. You know. So um, you know, it's just that chicken and the egg thing. If somebody hands you a club, your swing adapts to the club, or um, somebody hands you a different club and it's flat and then, you know, if, if somebody hands you a really upright club, your swing is just going to evolve that way. You know, someone swing gives you a flat club, the swing starts getting flatter. But I, I think this is your motion here, you know, looks really good. I mean, it's really impressive. I mean, alrighty guys, thank you for watching. Uh, this is John and we're here. So, uh, Gosh, that sucks. All right. Thank you guys for watching. You can find all of John's stuff at uh, advancedballstriking.com. Uh, and you can also check out his Instagram on advancedballstriking on Instagram as well. Thank and you. I'm really impressed with uh, what you're able to do and to take a old school one iron <laughs> from the 1960s and heavy and flat and be able to adjust that quickly and hit a beautiful towering draw. <laughs> yeah, man, that's good stuff, man. I'm really impressed. That was I beautiful. I appreciate it. All right. Okay, we'll see you soon.